Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. Do you love your photo or image but just wish you can make some things disappear? Maybe there's a piece of trash or someone photobombing your background. Your photo has spots or maybe your model does. Pull out your magic wand and let's make these things disappear in Photoshop. Photoshop has some of the best tools for cleaning your images and removing the junk. You can let Photoshop do most of the work or you can decide for yourself how to fill the void. In this video, we take a deep dive into the healing brush and the spot healing brush. We'll use the patch tool for larger removals, and I'll show you two ways you can use content-aware fill tools. With all of these tools, Photoshop removes your junk and replaces it with new, clean pixels taken from another part of your image. I've written quite a few tutorials and eBooks on how to clean your photos in Lightroom and Photoshop. I'll show you how to remove ugly spots, people in the background, and even smooth a model's skin. I'll put links to these tutorials in the description below. Let's start with a little healing. Healing and spot healing brushes are great for removing small blemishes. The spot healing brush is a powerful tool and it's the easiest one to use. Just click a spot and let Photoshop do the rest. An algorithm works out how to best fill the space and blend the new pixels with the old. Photoshop guesses right a lot of the time but if you want more control, use the healing brush. I use spot healing and healing all the time when cleaning up my photos. Let's see the healing brushes at work. Today I'm cleaning one of the images that I created with Midjourney AI. I love the subject, but there are bright spots in the background that draw my eye. Let's remove them. Open your image in Photoshop and create a new layer. You can label this healing brush or spot removal. Let's start with the spot healing brush tool. This may be grouped with other tools on the toolbar. It looks like a band-aid with a bump. In the options bar, you can change the size or hardness of your brush and make sure that the type is content aware. Check the sample all layers box. Now zoom in and click the spots. You can even drag on a line if you want. Now let's move to the healing brush. With this tool, you select the replacement area by holding the option key. Notice that I did not select the sample all areas box. The tool should work now, and it does. It's best if you are making your changes on a new layer. This way, if you make a mistake, you can easily change it. The original image is still there. Compare the before and after results. With just a few clicks, you can remove all of the visual junk from your image. The patch tool lets you replace larger elements of your image. With this tool, you circle what you want gone and drag it to a replacement area. Open your image in Photoshop and then select the Patch tool. It may be grouped with other tools on the toolbar. Add a new layer. On the toolbar, make sure your patch is content aware and you check the box next to the sample all layers. Now draw a circle around the objects you want to remove. and drag your selection to a clean part of your image. In this case, I want these errant tree branches to be replaced by sky. Take it in small sections to get the best results.
I'm going to drag this down to show you how it uh, can go wrong. Sometimes you see a seam. If you see that, try changing the structure and the color settings in the options bar across the top of the screen. Structure tells Photoshop how closely to adhere to the shapes in the new content. Seven means to be faithful to the shapes. One means to loosely interpret the shapes. Color tells Photoshop how much color blending you want. 10 is the maximum. Zero means that you don't want to blend new and old colors. You may need to go over an area again to get the smoothest results. That's it, circle and drag. Let's see this image before and after using the patch tool. We now have a clean sky. There are two ways to use the Content Aware Fill tool in Photoshop. This first way is quick and lets Photoshop decide how to fill the area. I usually try this way first. This image created in Midjourney came with solid gold bars down each side. I could crop them out, but I want to fill the entire frame with the image. I wanted Photoshop to be aware of the content around the gold bars and fill in with something that made sense. This is Content Aware Fill. Let's start by duplicating the layer. We're going to use the lasso tool for this. Zoom in, and you're going to draw a circle around the area that you want to replace. Right click on the area and select Fill. Make sure it's set to Content Aware Fill, and click OK. Photoshop analyzes the content around the selected area and fills in something that makes sense. In a lot of cases, Photoshop makes good choices. Fill, Content Aware, and OK. And Photoshop has chosen pretty well in this case. This tool is also located under the Edit drop-down menu. Using this tool is quick. Draw two circles, fill, and the bars are gone. You can also use this tool to fill in areas of white space if you are expanding an image. The Content Aware Fill workspace is for more difficult areas where Photoshop is struggling to make a good patch. Let's follow the process I used in my expert photography tutorial, how to easily use Content Aware Fill in Photoshop. Start by drawing a lasso around the area that you want to remove. In this photo, I want to remove the road sign in the background. I've already tried to do a quick fill and a patch, but the tree line was giving Photoshop some problems. Right click on the selected area and instead of selecting Fill, select Content Aware Fill. You should see a new workspace. On the right of the workspace is my original image. Photoshop has already applied a preview of the Content Aware Fill, but it's not doing a good job yet. It's trying to put in a new lighthouse. We'll change that in a minute. In the left panel, my image is covered by a green overlay. This is the default sampling area. Refining the sample area will give us better results. Using the brush tool, remove the green overlay on the lighthouse. I don't want Photoshop to use the lighthouse to patch the sign. You'll see the image immediately update as you give Photoshop this information. Now I remove the water. I don't want water replacing the sign either. And I'm removing a little bit of the sky. I really want Photoshop to focus on the trees. Now using the Add, I can paint back any areas that I want to use. But I really want it to use the tree line. So I'm going to paint in some more of the tree line to give Photoshop a clue. Now Photoshop is finally getting the message. It's replacing the sign with the tree line. Here's the before and after. I had quite a few dust spots on the original image and I removed those using the healing brush. You don't have to live with your photos or images as they are. You can easily clean and remove distractions or clutter. Share your before and after images in the comments below and let us know which Photoshop tools work best for you.
If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.